Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about the Quebel Cop situation. If you haven't heard, or if you've just been blatantly avoiding the drama, then uh, let me be very specific in what's going on right now. So, Quebel Cop just a few weeks ago decided that it would be a good idea to transfer his whole personality, his whole persona, into an AI version of himself to then start producing videos for him, rather than him producing the videos himself. And this really went just about how you'd expect. Nobody was really in support of it. In fact, people really were didn't like it at all. They just did not like it. They were so against it. And it's not for any negative reason either like they're against it for very good reasons and i'm about to get into that today and not just that but i'm also going to be talking about how much he's seething and coping right now he's literally seething and coping like a little crybaby right now he's acting like a complete chuddy you see this chuddy right here you see this seething and coping chuddy that's him right now he's literally seething and coping exactly like this chud cell right here Anyways, Quebel thought that he was going to be very successful in pulling off this new rebranding and his entire rebranding is basically turning his videos auto-generated by AI. His entire proposal to the YouTube scene was essentially, look guys, we can end up making new seamless videos using nothing but AI generation and we can reduce the amount of labor and hour it takes to produce content. And well, this didn't really fly at all with the YouTube creator community. In fact, he received a lot of criticism for this decision, which is very well earned. A lot of YouTubers came out and said that this type of move is actually extremely soulless and devoid of any personality in the YouTube scene, which is essentially what YouTube was built off of, is people having a personality, putting themselves in a camera, or putting themselves behind a screen, basically doing anything just to get a little bit of viewership. Many great tubers grew because of their personalities in the very early days of YouTube. People like Tobuscus, PewDiePie, and other gaming commentary videos, they all grew because they had a voice and because they had a personality. And Quebelcop's entire move is basically ripping that completely out of the scheme of things. So on July 30th of 2023, Quebelcop came out with this tweet right here where he's basically saying that Quebelcop AI's first video is actually just an entire AI learning process where he himself doesn't actually have to do any of the work. He doesn't use his voice, he doesn't use his face for model tracking, he doesn't use anything except what the AI is capable of doing. For example, he says that this is not my voice, the model is not me, the personality is modeled after my own camera personality. Basically what he's saying is that he took an AI and after the AI learned what how he reacts on video or what he says on video the AI will then generate or emulate the same reactions and things that he does in an attempt to try to make the video as streamlined as possible so that he doesn't have to actually put himself behind the camera and actually produce any of it so for him his entire plan is to make laborless content that does nothing but generate you know ad revenue for him like that's his entire goal he wants to make content free of any labor in fact, he's already somewhat successfully kind of done this in another channel that he launched a while ago named Blue, where he just basically has a VTuber that is completely generated by AI. So right here, we're going to take a look at his channel. It's called Blue Gaming. He has 790,000 subscribers, which for most people, that is a dream that it take too long to achieve under regular circumstances that he managed to do in under a year. For example, we got videos right here that's like $1 to $10 million car in GTA 5. Well, all of the reactions and all of the things that is done by the VTuber, it's all AI generated. The game Gameplay itself is an AI generated, obviously, that'd be impossible right now, as how things are. Uh, and you can't really train an AI to play modded content like this, but he basically goes and hires somebody to play the game for him, and then he has the AI synthesize a reaction to then react to the content at hand. And it's very apparent that all of this is AI, like the reactions aren't natural. I mean, I guess for children, this would be something that passed, but for normal people like us that have actually dabbled a little bit in like the AI content atmosphere of things, we know and we can tell when things aren't natural and they just don't pass. Like there is a little bit of an uncanny valley to all of this. We see all of these stutters, we see all of these motions that just don't really make sense that, you know, a normal human typically wouldn't do. The speech pattern is different, the reactions are different, and the motion tracking is different. Even VTubers have better motion tracking, but then again, that's because they pay thousands of dollars for a good rig. So let's look at the first couple of seconds of this video right here that Blue uploaded, because it's basically going to be the same content that Quebble Cop is going to be doing from now on. When we look at the first few seconds of this video, we can see that every single line, including the NPCs, every single bit of dialogue is AI generated. My car is so ugly, guys. It's only worth a dollar. Look at that. A million dollar car. If I can make it up late, I can buy it. Mr. Car Salesman, can I get that $10 million car, please? Oh, no, no, no. Not before I do. What the? Spider-Man, get out of here. You can hear the weird pauses between words, the weird, you know, uh, speech patterns, the weird tones. It's all there. This is 100% AI generated, except maybe the gameplay, as I've mentioned. It's very obvious that this is the type of content that only kids would watch because they don't know any better. It's only the type of slop that only people without a brain cell would watch. And I mean without a brain cell because, I mean, you'd have to be literally an animal to enjoy this. And my apologies to anybody who actually enjoys this content, by the way. 
Look, this type of content is lazy and unimaginative. It takes some of the most bullshit streamlined shit that you could possibly throw out there, and it's all just meant for kids that have half a brain cell. Like, nobody who's actually intelligent would enjoy watching these types of videos. It's full of bright, flashy colors, a lot of loud dialogue, a lot of loud speech, and it only has plots and schemes that only kids would end up actually liking. There's a bunch of interactions in the video that basically farms these comments from kids, it boosts interactions and it boosts views, and then it also has advertisements for applications in the middle of the video. Video, which you know kids would obviously download and they'd be exposed to ads it's just a content revenue farm like there's it's nothing more than that and that's basically quibble cop's entire plan his entire plan is to ai make videos just so that he can make money off of kids watching his videos but instead of taking it on the chin and just admitting that he's trying to make soulless boring content for kids to view and get tons of viewership he basically says that it's gonna revolutionize the way that people make content and that could be further from the case there is no way that you could you know actually replace quality content that takes time and effort with ai it's just not gonna happen because kids have short attention spans and all of this flashy shit that you can do with ais is only gonna have the viewership retention for you know kids so expanding your content beyond this niche little audience right here it's gonna be basically impossible because nobody but kids is gonna watch it but despite of this harsh and very mundane reality quibble cop thinks that he's this newfound pioneer this new adventurer that's discovering grand new territory and he's been going absolutely off on twitter trying to defend this terrible decision so these tweets are going to be out of order because it really doesn't matter it's all just a big cope anyways so let's just get into it so let's look at this thread right here he's saying gotta love innovation innovate or die which i find kind of humorous because he's not really innovating anything he's just making bland content that's basically auto-generated somebody comes in and says here's the question why do this on your main channel you could have easily kept this separate from your main especially when ai content is better suited for channels without a personality informational slash educational slash narrative driven channels and uh, he's not wrong ai generated videos are very very mundane and they don't really have a lot of substance it's incredibly boring and only kids would have the attention span to view this and quibble cop unknowingly basically just confirms this right here we've been doing the above for over two years now one of the channels is called blue main channel because it's time to get people talking claim the crown as a pioneer and innovator and because we need more data and this was the only way to get it plus it's just fun like this man basically thinks that he's some very special groundbreaking creator when in reality he really isn't this content is very boring and lame and i don't see anybody above the age of 10 looking at these videos and thinking it's something real then he posts this little quirky this little funny tweet right here he's like me right now to the youtube scene and uh well he's saying like hey let me add a little bit of spice to that but i mean let's be real here you're not doing shit this type of content has been mundane since the beginning of fucking time ever since gta 5 was released let's look at this tweet right here by engaging with all these people i've seen a lot of people slowly switch sides since they are starting to realize how stupid the majority of the arguments against ai content are in this example i mentioned how my channel is an extension of my creativity and how this for many is what content creation should be on social media according to many me being creative in my own way is not a valid way of me expressing my creativity to be a good content creator i have to follow their explicit set of rules and all of this while i'm overqualified for the position and they are underqualified this entire tweet right here is just one big massive pile of coping and irony this entire tweet right here is just incredibly big coping irony like it, it is nothing more than irony he says that how he's making his channel an extension of his creativity and i don't understand how any of this is creative because all he does is just make copy and paste kid children's content that you can find anywhere else being made from literally hundreds of youtubers then he goes goes on to say that how for many this type of content should be the standard for many on social media which honestly i do not agree i don't think anybody should agree with this nobody should agree that ai or that content should be specifically tailored to only a specific audience or tailored to specifically be some brain rot mind numbing fucking bullshit and then he has the audacity to say that because of all of this he's overqualified while the people that are criticizing him are underqualified you make slop content you don't do anything creative you don't do anything of value all you do is just regurgitate the same colorful flashy fucking videos all over again while there are genuine people that are out here writing scripts putting their asses on the line to make these videos and you're saying that they are underqualified compared to you that is some absolute bullshit he also made this other tweet where he's like my twitter has never had this many impressions ever maybe i should be myself more often and share what i'm working on and what i love doing more often a lot of people seem to love it look let's just say that in the replies nobody is actually loving what he's doing they're all dunking on him they're all talking shit about him they're all basically saying some very negative things that i'm not really gonna show off on this video because you know obvious reasons but just to give my own two pieces he's literally saying that he should be himself more often and like the thing is that he's getting impressions 
because they're negative impressions. Nobody's actually liking what he's doing. They're talking about him and giving him impressions because everybody is collectively agreeing that what he's doing is something just absolutely unacceptable. It's annoying content and nobody likes it. So basically, Quebel Cop is on this entire escapade basically trying to defend his mundane content, saying that his new content is going to be better than anything he's produced before, but that could be further from the case. Quebel Cop has always made videos that are specifically tailored for kids and it's never been anything special. The only videos that he would ever make that were actually good enough for other people to view are some of his real life vlogs, which even then didn't get a lot of attention. So what we've confirmed from all of this is that Quebel Cop never had any imagination. He got popular off of this mundane ass personality that could only ever be popular for kids. And because of that, now he's trying to make it more streamlined and have nothing to do with it and have an automated machine do it all for him. I mean, I understand, right? It's easy money. You're making money off of people that could never be aware of the personality that's behind the camera because it's indistinguishable from real to somebody who doesn't have half a brain, of course. It's completely understandable. It's just a revenue form. But instead of admitting it, instead of admitting that he's just has all of this mundane ass talent, he's trying to pretend like he's some new messiah of this new YouTube era, which he isn't. He's nothing special, but he keeps trying to push the narrative that he is. He keeps thinking that he's better than anybody else because of this fucking new creative process that he thinks that he discovered. Anyways, that's the video for today, guys. I really just wanted to talk about how Quebel Cop is really lame and unimaginative, and because of that, he really thinks that he has some of this new grasp on YouTube when he really doesn't. He's always been lame. He's always had this type of content and uh well he's a fraud he's a fake and nothing that he does is actually cool i hope that this ai shit blows up in his face and that he loses a little bit of popularity and that he actually realizes that good content has a lot of you know human work involved into it and non ai and i desperately hope that he realizes that entertaining an audience of five-year-olds is nothing special and nothing hard to do anybody could do it he's not special for doing any of this he needs to grow up he needs to learn a couple of lessons thank you for watching everybody have a good one i love you guys and stay safe